Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury on the Paul Pluter channel. Today I'm doing paid review 21QB138. And this here is for Nigel. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing my Rolex Submariner. The Submariner. Okay, let's jump straight in. Dear Archie, first, let me thank you very much for the great review of my watch collection. I was the guy without any Rolex. I have another request and need a quick reply, mail if possible. I've sent you 55.55 US dollars a few seconds ago. Uh, as discussed in your video, I am hunting a paddock. 5110. I've, uh, I own a 5110. That's the world time. I saw the prices rising quick in the last few months, so I have to be fast to get one uh, at a reasonable price. Now, I have two identical offers, both with box and papers, but one is yellow gold and the other is white gold. What are your thoughts? Which precious metal should I choose? The white gold is more sporty, as but as I understand, the yellow gold has more potential in the Chinese market. The price for both is around 32,000 US dollars. I appreciate your answer. Thanks in advance, Nigel. Well, Nigel, what a great <clears throat> choice to be making. $32,000. He can pick either a white gold world time or a yellow gold. And you know what? I would tend to say out of those two there, they are both beautiful. Uh, I've owned both. I own both. I sold my white gold one. And to be totally honest with you, <coughs> it really <coughs> depends on the dynamics of your collection. But which one would I go for? Both are pretty amazing pieces. White gold is beautiful. And the yellow gold. Now, obviously, the white gold at that time was rhodium plated. They didn't stop doing the rhodium plating. So basically, it's white gold, but it has a layer of rhodium to give it a bit of a bright shine to it. They changed the mixture of the white gold. That was done about 2008 so it was after that model ended the 5110 ended in 2006 when the 5130 replaced it uh okay so to answer your question which one would i go for to be honest with you i would say it doesn't really matter I think the white gold one should be a little bit more expensive. Uh, the white gold ones themselves there. Um, look, I don't think there's a right or wrong answer to that. I personally, if I had a choice, uh, the funny thing is with me, when I bought mine, I actually got the white, the yellow gold one actually was a little bit better condition. Like the, the white gold gold one was excellent whereas the yellow was almost new old stock okay uh i bought the the believe it or not i actually paid more for the yellow gold one and the dealer i bought it from he actually had an interesting uh theory on it he wanted to actually sell the white gold one first. He valued the yellow gold one more because he's saying, look, they're 37 mil, which, you know, in a modern context is a wee bit small. Uh, he felt that the 37 mil would be perfect for the Hong Kong, Singaporean, Chinese market. And they traditionally prefer yellow gold. Now, to be honest with you, I don't think um, that market dislikes white gold now. But the sophisticated paddock investor is pretty clued up. Personally, if I had a choice of the two, I 
would say the white gold would probably be the better way to go there. Traditionally, white gold and rose gold were 10% more expensive than the yellow gold variant. Now, Paddock has changed the pricing. They now charge the same for white, yellow, or rose gold. Um, I... The, the, the funny thing is, between the two, the white and the yellow gold, um, I think both are pretty damn good. Um, I don't think you can go wrong with either. There isn't really one that screams it's better. It, it, when I'm buying secondhand, it's condition, condition, condition. It's good to have papers, box papers. You say they've both got that. If all being equal... I'd probably go for white gold myself. That's just my own prejudice. However, you know what? I think both of them would pretty well uh, do very well on the collector market. I don't think the yellow gold is so inferior. I actually love the yellow gold. It's got a very vintage feel to it. The 5110 has got a very vintage feel to it. And I think the uh, white gold itself is, it's got a more of a more modern feel. So it depends what you're trying to create. The thing is, if you've got all steel pieces, the white gold as a white metal fits in beautifully. Uh, so it depends which way you want to structure your collection. However, the yellow gold itself, I must tell you, I think is, uh, look, is there a bad gold? You, you, know, you know, it's like saying, is there a bad Ferrari or a bad Porsche? <laughs> you know, um, they're an amazing piece there. I'd probably say <clears throat> all being equal, yellow and white being equal, I'd probably say go for the white White traditionally does better in the European market. Uh, where are you? Where are you? You don't, you tell me, I think you're in the US. I think you're in the, oh, you're in Germany. Um, <clears throat> look, traditionally white gold was always a European type of preference there. Uh, but I, I honestly think you've got to realize this. The type of person who buys Patek is a very sophisticated collector. They're not a rookie collector. It's like when, I, when people say to me, what do you think is a good first watch to get? And I say, get the Omega Speedmaster Man on the Moon. Get the House of Light. And they say, oh, I really like Sapphire. And then they start saying to me, oh... I really like automatic and they don't understand it. I've got to spend time explaining why in the Speedmaster, the manual wind is so iconic. I've got to explain that. So I've got to be completely frank with you. When I say with the paddock in buyer, they're more sophisticated than that. You don't need to waste your time explaining. Um, I think 5110, Superb watch, superb watch, um, and man, I, 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 um, I, I got to be honest with you. Either one would be pretty damn amazing. Either one would be pretty amazing. Uh, my own prejudice, I suppose. I think white gold is worth a smidgen more, but that's basically because it was always commanding a bit of a premium. Funnily enough, when I bought my yellow gold one, I actually paid $250 more for the yellow gold than I paid for the white gold. So who really knows there? White gold, yellow gold, I've got to be honest with you. At the moment, rose gold is very cool. Rose gold, extremely cool. But these sort of things swing. It's, it's kind of, yellow gold is never bad. White gold is never bad. Rose gold is never bad. Um, it's it's one of these things. With, with paddocks themselves, there is there a bad precious metal? Personally, 
I don't think it really matters. I would probably go for white gold. I think white gold is a little bit rarer. But you know what? In all honesty, the yellow gold itself is not disastrous. I've got the yellow gold. Do I miss my white gold? That's that's actually probably a better question to ask because I I've owned both. I, well, I I own the yellow, but I did own the white before it. Do I regret selling the white to get the yellow? Not really. Not really. Uh, as I said, the condition on the yellow was a little bit better. Uh, I made a lot of money when I sold the white one. That was basically money for free, really. Um, I, I generally, I, I would say go for it, go for it, go. Condition is probably more important. Condition, box and papers is probably more important than yellow or white. If I had a choice of a white gold one with no papers and a yellow gold one with papers, I'd go for the one with papers, the yellow gold one with papers. So. I think it's only very, very small difference there. Condition and box and papers would be more important than yellow or white. They're both cool. They're both very collectible watches. And uh, watch that space. Um, watch that space indeed. I'm Archie Luxury. That's been a paid review. Please, guys, like, subscribe, and tell your friends. Don't forget, guys, I can't survive doing on Google Ads. I need your paid reviews to keep me going on YouTube. Get a paid review done. I'll answer any question, do a review, and I will see you in the next one.